Postville, Iowa has all the makings of a prototypical American small town. Surrounded by cornfields, white houses, and red barns, it begs Norman Rockwell to paint just one more picture. But Postville has long had something that makes it stand out. The people here include Hasidic Jews, Hispanic Christians, and a large contingent of Muslims from Somalia. Tiny Postville, Iowa is a melting pot of cultures rivaling any big city you'll find. But life here has changed this summer. We can't even measure the amount of damage that we see. In May, agents from Immigration and Customs Enforcement raided Postville's largest employer, a food processing plant on the edge of town. 389 illegal immigrants were arrested. Hundreds more fled in fear. There were um, pillows and blankets in the pews, and people were sitting, uh, sleeping in the pews. Little tiny children were playing games in all of the... For a week, 400 people sought sanctuary at St. Bridget's Catholic Church. Everybody was torn apart. We were living with intense fear, with a lot of unknown as to what the future was going to be. The future may be unknown. The present is devastating. This woman, who's afraid to show her face, says her husband was arrested and has already been deported. She can't leave because ICE placed a tracking bracelet on her ankle. She can't work because the bracelet marks her as illegal. I'm scared, she says, saying she thinks about the raid all the time. By all accounts, there are hundreds of families like this one, families who've been separated, fathers deported or in jail, children and mothers left behind with no way to support themselves. When I sit across the table from people, People that have been used to working for everything they had are all of a sudden having to sit across the table from someone who has to give them a handout. And it's not just immigrant workers from the plant who are suffering. Cesar Ochola runs a market and restaurant. Before the raid, 200 people a day came in. Today, a handful. And at the lunch hour, not one person was eating. Before that's very, very good. Yeah. Now just go down. All the, the business, uh, the neighbors go out the business next month. No one here denies the workers were in the country illegally, but the people of Postville say they want immigration reform to make sure this doesn't happen again, and they want it right now. I can't believe that a government or a government agency that can create this much damage and not really be concerned about it. State and federal investigators are also looking into unsafe working conditions at the plant, including allegations child labor laws were broken. Rich Matthews, The Associated Press, Postville, Iowa.